Dollar Pro Advanced Customizations Cuboid Pad. A cuboid pad is a semicircular or semi dome shaped pad added to the top surface of the orthotic under a top cover for long term protection. It is highest at the central point of the lateral border and tapers to the edges. It is commonly placed to support the cuboid along the lateral border of the foot. The cuboid pad can be constructed from a modified dollar metatarsal dome or arch pad depending on the size and height required. A cuboid pad can be manufactured from the self-adhesive dollar metatarsal domes or small arch pads. The metatarsal domes are available in four sizes, small, medium, large and extra large. Selection of cuboid pad size is based on foot morphology and pathology or the orthotic lateral arch characteristics. Cuboid pad shape. The cuboid pad is a modified metatarsal dome or arch pad. From the packet, it is simply customised for shape, dimensions or height, based on the pathology or anatomy. For a metatarsal dome, simply remove the tail section with scissors. Cuboid pad positioning. It most commonly sits under the cuboid on the lateral border of the foot, following the lateral arch or lateral column. It spans from the lateral border of the foot under the cuboid to the width of the lateral column. The height and size of the pad is as per practitioner preference and is often a result of treatment directed testing. The high point of the cuboid pad can be placed as required in relation to the foot morphology, orthotic lateral shell arch characteristics or pathology. Options include it focusing on the cuboid or spread over a larger region of the lateral column. Treatment directed testing. Treatment directed testing of the cuboid pad size and position can be performed on the patient's foot, shoe insole or on the orthotic shell. This can be used to test for clinical effect, patient tolerance and comfort. Note, secure with strapping tape or hyperfix to allow the adjustment of the cuboid pad location in treatment directed testing. Customised positioning. For a custom position, mark the position required on the patient's foot and transfer to the orthotic. Common markings or anatomical landmarks may include the cuboid, or for larger pads, include a posterior start point, anterior end point, medial end point, and high point position. Use a pen or lipstick to mark the landmarks on the plantar surface of the patient's foot in a non-weight bearing position. To transpose the marks onto the Dollar Pro orthotic, position the patient on the orthotic in a weight bearing position and apply body weight. The mark will now be transposed onto the orthotic shell, giving a guide for the position of your cuboid pad. Cuboid Pad Orthotic Edition Select the required metatarsal dome or arch pad size and height. Remove the tail section of the metatarsal dome and place the cuboid pad on the dorsal surface of the orthotic. Secure with strapping tape or hyperfix for treatment directed testing or peel and stick with the self-adhesive 3M tape for orthotic manufacturing. Protect the cuboid pad with a top cover for long-term use and dispense. Cuboid pad case examples. In this case example, a size large poron metatarsal dome was modified for a cuboid pad and was placed on a size medium Dollar Pro 70 soft full length orthotic shell. The prescription was completed with a 4 degree varus intrinsic roof or post grind, semi perforated DuraFit red top cover, and fit customizations for the ASICS Keanu 28s. In this case example, a size extra large poron metatarsal dome was modified for a cuboid pad and was placed on a size large dollar Pro 80 medium density full length orthotic shell. The extra large size dome was selected to support a larger area of the lateral column. The prescription was completed with a black neoprene top cover. In this case example, a size medium poron metatarsal dome was modified for a cuboid pad and was placed on a size large Dollar Pro 80 medium density three quarter length orthotic shell. 
The three-quarter length orthotic shell was selected due to the restricted toe box depth of the patient's business footwear. The prescription required a sulcus length forefoot valgus extension, which would have raised the height of a full length shell. The selection of a full length 1.5mm neoprene black top cover kept the forefoot thin while being protected with a plantar durafit forefoot extension. Footwear requirements were a primary consideration in this prefabricated orthotic design. In this case example, a size large poron metatarsal dome was modified for a cuboid pad and was placed on the left orthotic after treatment directed testing of cuboid syndrome symptoms. A size medium Dollar Pro 85 high density full length orthotic shell was selected for a men's size 9 to 10. The orthotic was covered with black neoprene in a full length top cover. In this case example, a size extra large poron metatarsal dome was modified for a cuboid pad and was placed on a size extra large Dollar Pro 85 high density full length orthotic shell. The size and position of the cuboid pad was selected after successful treatment directed testing on the shoe insole. The prescription was completed with an intrinsic rear foot valgus post of 4 degrees and covered with black Durafit smooth full length top cover. In this case example, a medium poron metatarsal dome was modified for a cuboid pad and was placed on a size large Dollar Pro 70 soft density full length orthotic shell. The prescription also included a poron full length mid layer with a plantar fascial groove accommodation, a rear foot varus intrinsic grind and a poron metatarsal bar placed in a pre-metatarsal position. This prescription was completed with a blue EVA top cover and is a great example of how a prefabricated orthotic can have multiple prescription variables applied in clinic. In this case example, a size small poron arch pad was selected for the cuboid support and was placed on a size medium Dollar Pro 80 medium density full length orthotic shell. A poron arch pad was selected to cover a larger area of support compared to a modified metatarsal dome option based on the foot size. The full length Dollar Orthotic Pro is available in three densities, soft 70, medium 80 and hard 85 across 11 sizes from a kids 5 to a men's 15 plus. Cuboid pad prescription. The modification of an orthotic shell with the addition of a cuboid pad is used to influence foot function and reduce the symptoms of various pathologies. It provides poron under the cuboid and can be used to support the cuboid or lateral column in cuboid syndrome for various perineal pathologies or to provide an orthotic reaction force lateral to the subtalar joint. It uses the material properties of poron, shape of the pad and the position applied to provide cushioning and mechanical change. Alternative options to a cuboid pad include a poron lateral arch pad. Cuboid pad in clinic modification. Adding a cuboid pad to an orthotic shell is a common in clinic modification. The following video will show you how easy it is to add your own cuboid pads in clinic. 